we're going to have the Hawaiian ceremony go first. We're going to invite our other kahu who might be in the audience that want to say a pule or, or a few words to come up. And then we're going to invite all of you to lunch upstairs in our uh, class act um, dining room. So please um, join us for lunch after the ceremony, right? That's how we do it in Hawaii, right? We pule and then we eat.
Mahalo nui hoku and to the hui over here. And thank you so much to the um, contributors of those oli um, that gifted over here to Maui for, for the day. We're going to go into um, inviting some of our kahu that I see in the audience to join us and share a few words, maybe a puli with us. I don't know all of you, but I know my kahu, so I'm going to invite him up first, actually. So kahu Roy Nuten, who is the kahu at Maluhia Church and Pa'ia Hawaiian Protestant Church. Hello, my kako. I'd like to offer a mele. <clears throat> this is psalm found in the book of the Old Testament in the prophet, uh, the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. <clears throat> <clears throat> they that wait upon the Lord shall renew they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord, teach us, Lord, to wait. O 
Apo e hili na ia kuya Yehova ulu ho mau no kola ko i kaika pi i e he ua kuno la ko i luna vi ke mena ai to olo no la ko a ole malo elo e ele mu a la ko a ole maule e ka haku e a o mai a u e ka kali teach us lord teach us lord to Thank you, Kahu Roy. Anybody else in the audience um, from the churches want to come join us? Aloha mai kako. From the tradition of Dao, the tradition of yin and yang, the balance of life, we give and offer our love and support to all those who have transitioned, all the families that are left behind all of you that are here today in support with great aloha i offer you this oli of love peace and harmony aloha olokone ea i kokahonua Ako amo maluhi ake aloha pu maluhi ake aloha pu aloha o lokone ea i koka honua pa. Ako amo maluhi ake aloha pu maluhi ake aloha pu I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Aloha. Anybody else? Oh, here comes Kahu. Kama. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Maori Christian Ministers Association, I was sent here by Pastor Barbara Tengan, who is the president of the association, who is a pastor of the Faith in Jesus Church. And she wanted me to come here to send her love from all the pastors in the county of Maui to say that we love you all. We're always praying for you. We're here to serve you. And because of the love that we have for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we come to you saying that we love you and we can love you, irregardless of who you are, where you're from, or what denomination you serve. We love you. We care about you. We're here to serve you. And all you need to do is just call us but know this, that we will all be praying for you all the time, every time, throughout the days, throughout the weeks, the months and the years, 
no longer. No matter how long it takes for us to get through this, we will pray us all through. And we pray that the Lord lift us all up together as we hold hands and as we continue on the journey that we are all here to do today. So thank you all for all the service that you give to our community, to our people, and just know that God loves you and he cares for you, and we do too. God bless us all. Aloha, my name is Rio Razuti. On behalf of Sokogaka International, a Buddhist organization, um, it's a value creation society. We extend our deepest condolences for the lives that is, was lost, and want to say also that for those that have passed, um, your death will not go in vain. We will never forget. And I just pray that for the peace and love and the aloha and the harmony of the aina and the world, we chant nam myoho renge kyo So if you want to join me in chanting nam myoho renge kyo three times. Nam yo ho renge kyo, nam yo ho renge kyo, nam yo ho renge kyo. Mahalo, we're here for you and our prayers continue for Maui. Aloha. Aloha, my name is uh, Pastor John Crew. I'm from Lahaina United Methodist Church. I just come here in a spirit of gratitude and to share my love with all of you uh, to thank you uh, so much uh, for this, this time of, of prayer. Uh, and I just wanted to share uh, that uh, we are encouraged, so we are so encouraged by this, um, by this act of love and peace. And uh, I just uh, wanted to share, going through this, uh, this ordeal, this time, I feel uh, that God has uh, bound us together uh, more s strongly. Uh, more, we're, we're bound together more, and the community is, is growing from this. And uh, as I sometimes worry about the future and what's going to come of, of, of uh, going for of our rebuilding process, I remember uh, these words from uh, the Apostle Paul in uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So I know gathering together with you in prayer, I feel that peace that surpasses understanding. I don't know what the future holds, but I know that we'll be, doing, we'll be going forward in the future together. Thank you. Aloha. I don't see anybody else moving to the stage. Oh, Pastor Lucky, come. Hello, my kako. Kahulaki, for my kai, kahumano. Senior pastor now, church on the go. For years, I was at Kaanapali Beach Hotel as the pastor there. And then they shut it down because of the COVID. I was the head bishop of Lahaina Harvest Chapel Church of God. Now it's gone. But we need to look up to the author and finisher of our faith. And obviously he's kept us here to pray for those. As it is written, to die is to gain, to be with Christ is far better. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. When I looked at all those that have gone, passed away, I said, how come they get to go? If to die is to gain, I would rather go. And the Lord said, shut up. I'm trying to reach the rest of these lolos. You're the only lolo I know I can use to reach them. I said, whatever. <laughs> but when you look at the people that God chose to touch our lives, I remember the last day I saw cousin Israel, Kamakavivaola, he was under the banyan tree. And he looked at me, he said, Cousin Lucky, I pray that all the songs God gave me gonna touch the world. I said, Is after you long God, cause all the songs that God gave you to touch the world, going to keep touching the world. Today, after 30,000 weddings, they come from all over the world. They want a little Hawaiian flavor. They looked at me and said, you can sing that song by the big Hawaiian guy is. I said, that's my cousin. Can you sing his song? Yeah, if you pay me. 
But when I look at Uncle Richard Hopi, he touched many people's lives. And you may not think anything, but why are you still here? Because he chose you to touch those that are still here that may not know the one that chose you. I'm the Christmas annual Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. I tell people, you know what that means? He said, no. Everybody repeat after me. Ho, ho, ho means hearts open, hands out, helping others. Our people need help. And since we're here, we are a malama, not only in the Aina, but the Kanaka, because they need to know how much God loved them to keep them here. Even what they had is gone. But the word promises what he gave, he take, but God gonna give you more than what you had before. Then we ought to look to him to bring back better of those that lost so much. Plus, I tell all the tourists that come here, you know what this means? They all look at me, yeah, it means shaka, hang loose. I said, that's for you tourists. For us Kanaka Maule, this means aloha. Everybody repeat after me, aloha means? Always, love, over, hate, always. No more Hawaiians, no more aloha, but no more keakua, no more love. What are the chances after all these years to Tukani, to Tuvahini before they passed away, they had the original genealogy scroll of King Kamehameha. The lineage of Kamehameha, one, two, three, four, five, Kalakaua, Kaahumanu was all written down. And when she passed away, she showed it to my cousin Irma, who was married to my cousin Harry Akima. When she showed me the thing, the thing was so frail, would fall apart. So when she passed away, I came home, I asked the oldest son, Harrison, what happened to the royal lineage of genealogy, Kamehameha scroll, Tutu gave to mom. He looked at me, he said, uncle, mom had so much Hawaiian junks, we just threw them all away. I said, I'd like to slap your head. After all the things that Nakopunas went right down, what we need to know, where we come from, you throw them away? He said, Uncle, then they even spread her urn, the ashes. I said, that's why you get plenty of pilikea. You got to let them go. Go get me the urn so we're going to make pono. Spread her ashes and let her go. He said, Uncle, they will lock the door down. I said, kick the damn door down and give me the urn. He kicked the door down right next to the urn, the original scroll standing right up. He came out, he said, I guess Tutu wanted you to have it. I said, not Tutu, Keakua wanted us to have it. It's amazing how many of the Hawaiian lineage and royal lineage of Hawaiian people never had it. Good thing, the thing was so frail. Me and cousin Willie K and his brother Kaui, Wilmot, we flew him to Bishop Museum to preserve him, but we made copies so that the Royal Order of Kamehameha can have it, all the Hawaiian churches can have it. Even the governor, man, said, can I have one? I said, you should have one. You're representing our people. Hello. But I want you to know you're still here because the Lord God has blessed you. For as it is written, I'm going to bless you that all the nations of this earth can be blessed by you. For no man can come unto us except he that sent us draw them. So keep looking up and then keep looking to the one it doesn't matter what color they're on the outside. Look on the inside because God wants us to not judge. I know there's a lot of angry people blaming people. Listen, this is what the last man of Queen Lili Okalani said. Forgive them. They know now what they do. Then we need to look to the one that knows everything about what we ought to do. With that said, mahalo nui lo ke akua meke yesu kristo. Amen. Aloha. Everybody ask us Hawaiians, what you, what do you do that for? Look at this. <laughs> the reason we put our head together because we're looking for somebody like-minded, and if we can find them like-minded, we put the nose together to breathe the life that God has breathed in us to share that life with those that may not know what the hell they're doing. Don't get me started, brother. I will <laughs> preach this right here. Aloha, Kaohana Maui. Maui's strong. 
No kiahamai, why Maui is strong. I come before you today and represent my family and my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My ohana is the kainas. My mother, we just uh, recently guided her to the other side of the veil a couple weeks ago, way before the fire. Our home was originally Honokohua, Honolua. My papa, father, Bernard, is Wailuku family. My mother, Orfa, Uluhani, Kini, Kaina, Mahana, Maui, born. Today, I stand before you, and the biggest word that's in my heart and in my mind as I look over this beautiful ohana, you, my brothers and sisters, you, my ohana. I know my mother is here with me to say mahalo nui. My last name is the Watson Ohana. My husband's family is Sam Ako, AKO. Our home <clears throat> is 19 Kaniao Road, Lahaina, right across the old Mormon church in Lahaina, across the street. And there's two of our chapels, or meeting houses, was untouched. Because why? Because you, your love, your spirit. Many of our neighbor islands, many of you on this side of the island are home Maui. We thank you because you folks keep our spirit, our Lahaina families, our spirit strong as you folks. Thank you. I love you. Ahuyo. Coming. Uh, Allah, uh, my name is Kale Kale Kahi. Can everyone hear me? Okay. Um, I just wanted to say I, I have a lot of gratitude um, for those that have taught me and um, to see a lot of familiar faces and to see uh, a strength of a community come through. So I just wanted to mention that as well, that the importance of uh, having gratitude and praise in times of grieving, um, the two, you know, are carried in each hand, still same other part, same, uh, same body. So when we talk about, you know, the gratitude, you know, and the grief, it's like if you have a lot of grieving with no gratitude, it's almost a refusal to understand that it's in the brokenness that shapes us. And maybe it's in those things that we can find a little bit of a significance or beauty of ourselves and how to show up for each other. And the same way it goes too, with all the gratitude, without the grief, it's a dismissal and an absence of the things that have come to be without knowing why. And still needing it there because you wished it was otherwise. I had hoped it would be different, but here you are still with ashes in your hand and the brokenness in your heart. So how do you do that with the grief and the gratitude still being held in your hands? Well, one thing you can do right now is look to the people next to you, right to the left of you. Go ahead, do it now. See these people. See these people. They might be people you know. They might be strangers, but you don't know what anyone's carrying here. You don't know what they might be holding in their hearts. But you do know this, that you've all been affected by the things that have been going on. And you all have felt it deeply. And that's something that makes us relatable now. That's something that makes us almost kin in a way. That we can all be witness of our times and to bear a beautiful burden, not alone, but together, and to find a resurgence of community. So I just wanted to share a little bit of that. Maybe there's a little smile in the tears, because those tears are still relatives, whether it's in a smile or a frown. 
And I have had many teachers, some of them older than me, some of them younger. And I just wanted to share a song with you all. I don't know how it's going to go. I hope it goes well. But this uh, young man taught me a song, and, and it's about um, sharing, this, sharing a love. It's in English, and it's a call and response. So I'll just sing the first verse right now. I'll, I'll call out. I'll say, hey, mama. And you'll go, you'll go uh, hey, mama, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Does that sound good? And so each call I do, whether it's hey mama, hey papa, hey sister, hey brother, hey children, you sing the verse. Hey mama, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. Hey mama, hey mama, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Hey papa, hey papa, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Hey sister, hey sister, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Hey brother, hey brother, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Hey children, hey children, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. One more time. Hey mama, hey mama, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Hey papa, hey papa, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Hey sister. Hearts vibrate. Hey, brother, hey, brother, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song for you. Hey, children, hey, children, we sing for you. Our hearts vibrate a song. Mahalanui, thank you for learning this song. Thank you for holding this prayer for all of our people. I love you. I'll see you around. Mahalo. Last call for Kahu. I think we're good, so we're going to... Looking. I'm going to invite Auntie Mopsy up. She's the, one of our kupuna at our church, and they're going to go call her out. Come, Auntie Mopsy. And then Luana, if you can get ready, we'll do the closer after Antimopsy. And then let me thank all of you for coming um, this afternoon, for sharing in this, um, you know, um, in our ohana, when we have times of um, stress or times of need, we, we seek um, akua. And I want to invite all of you to do the same as we face the... Um, the fallout from what's going to occur um, in, in the future weeks. But I know that everyone's in for the long run, as we are all in for the long run. And we're going to be OK, right? And Auntie Mopsy going to tell us that. Right, Auntie Mopsy? Come on, Auntie Mopsy. Mahalo for the honor, for allowing me to share my manao, 
Um, we have asked kahus to come. I'm not a kahu, but I'm a kahu for the halal. And I do know one thing. Collectively, we all come together in one accord. Each and every one of us come with many reasons, personal, maha'oi, what have you. But we come together collectively to be one, to know that deep within the na'au, we all hurt. Whether affected or not, we all hurt for each other. So today, today, a time for visual, a time to come together, the whole statewide, to remember everyone in Pule. So, Keakua is my strength, and I offer this Pule for all of you. E Pule Kako. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the sun that touches our heart the sun that warms our bodies, the sun that gives us strength. We continue to look for the light, the light that shines at the end of the tunnel. We are so blessed by your presence to be in us, around us, and for us. We thank you for the many blessings that it, you have continued to shower us with your strength, your peace, your compassion, and most of all, your love. I ask that you continue to instill in every one of us here, Maui no Ko'oi, the state of Hawaii, to be strong for each other and for yourselves, to not nini, to not talk starry, talk bad, but to come together in love so that we can do together in harmony. There is so much, but most of all, dear Lord, we ask for thy patience. Patience is a virtue. Patience, Kanaka, we don't have. But we remember the Mauna, we remember Kapu Aloha. We remember the patience that we need to have to move forward from this day on. Let our people do the work. Let our government do the work. It may not be what we want, but it is something. It is something to hold us and to connect every one of us together. So let's be that instrument Let's be God's instrument that we move forward because without keakua, aole, no more. So let us drive with keakua as the leading force. Let us remember that sun that, sh that sun that shines upon us today, that gives us that light and continues that light within each and every one of us as we move forward. I mahalo you. I give you safe journey, and I thank you for this time to share God's love with all of you. Makainoa kamakua, ame ke keiki, ame ka uhane hemolele, ame ne mahalo. We're gonna, um, Luana's gonna come and close us out, so let me again thank you all for coming, for coming. And let me thank this. I know they're broadcasting this statewide. We feel your mana and your presence here, and we're grateful to the um, support of um, Maui. Luana? If you know this Oli, please, um, Oli with me. This mele is entitled Hemele no Lele. Uh, it honors all of the places, the Vahipana that you would see as you walk down Front Street. Those places still exist, and the mana from those vahipana will help us in the healing process. So please join me if you know this oli. He aloha no he aloha la Aloha e na havai'i 
mai hava inui o ke ave hela ai ke one ne ne e oni i hau e ya ho i o mau ila pu i ai ke ala lo ke la ni a hela ni nui o la hai na la ka hela i ho ka hala vai 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 mau i a i ka u i ke la I ta vai i ta huli o te a u hou Hū no u o mala i ka ma a ala Nā nā pu u no a i a ke a vai i ki A i ki a pu a i a wai ne e la I ta hele o nā ki ni i mo tū lai Wana i a me ke aloha pau o lela Wana ni o lele ua kaulana hae He mele no lele This brings our um, program, this formal part of our program to an end I'm going to invite you to lunch um, upstairs in the Class Act dining room. Somebody, some people will guide you. Um, this is my house. I, I get to serve as the chancellor of, of this place. So I'm going to for, ask for your forgiveness because I'm not sure I get enough food for everybody. So we're on the family hold back kapu <laughs> for eating food. And our campus is a little bit hui cow, and they was trying so hard to get it. The grounds guys are going to make them pretty over here. but. This is what um, you're going to get to walk through our food hub, and this is what a uh, place looks like when you serve 12,000 meals. They're down to about 2,000 meals a day, and it's being actually served out of our cafeteria. So that's why you're seeing all the stuff outside here. But they did their best to clean them up because they knew we was having guests. So please join us for um, lunch if you're able to. And aloha, everybody, and thank you. Be safe and be kind. Aloha.